And of course, as Steve mentioned, we are currently in the middle of one of the biggest African American festivals on the East Coast. Afram is dominating headlines at Druid Hill Park, but the music wasn't the only thing that brought in the heat tonight. Caroline Forback is on your corner live from Druid Hill Park with a look at people who had to deal with with what people had to deal with for the first day of festivities. Caroline. Well, Kelsey, people had to deal with this record breaking heat at Afram today, but they found all kinds of ways to stay cool from umbrellas to ice packs to portable fans and the fire department's cooling station was a huge help. Day one of Afram and the energy was high. So was the temperature. The DJ told us that it's going to be hot and we're going to be sweating and he's had us doing just that by dancing and having a good time. With the city under a code red heat advisory, thousands of festival goers did whatever they could to stay cool as Baltimore reached a record breaking 101 degrees. Water, you know, we got to keep hydrated. Got the little fire department with the water. Uh, I have a backpack full of water. They have a lot more stations for people to like get cool down. Got the fire station right here. I saw a bus earlier with the AC running. Afrim organizers put precautions in place to keep people safe in the extreme heat. Go, like water distribution and cooling and misting stations throughout the park. Baltimore Fire Department water it is really enjoyable. First responders were there to help anyone who got overheated or showed signs of heat exhaustion. Festival goers say excitement over Saturday's headliner motivated them to tough it out. We still out here. Y'all know Baltimore gonna show up and show out. Everybody's excited about Busta Rhymes. Can I get my talk to the people music, please? And just as temperatures began to drop, make some noise, be more. Busta Rhymes brought the heat to the main stage. <laughs> And tomorrow is supposed to be just as hot. So if you're planning to go to Afram, make sure you bring plenty of water and take plenty of breaks. Reporting live here in Baltimore, Caroline Forback for WJZ.